S D S Ron Con E Day in a computers dot com Otro Video Party Oi Kinda turning into a customer service bitch boy, I guess. This video deals with how to configure a Hewlett Packard all in one printer to fax. So let's cut to the chase and I will read you verbatim the initial original response. Click on the link in the description box below that'll take you to my website, anacapeers.com, where I have, will have full instructions on how to configure your Hewlett Packard printer to fax. I am trying to see how can I connect my printer to use for fax. My printer is a Hewlett Packard Office Jet Pro 8720. Please tell me how to connect and where do I find the cord? They haven't been able to use it to fax yet. They had a printer that they were using to fax. It is out of order due to the wire. I'm not sure if they were referring to the power cable. I had to disconnect the wire from the telephone outlet and printer is still working. Well, that's because you don't need to use a telephone cable to get a printer to work. So here, quickly, muy rapido. In order to fax, you need a RJ11 telephone cable. They're really small. I don't. I have one over there. I think. I haven't used a fax machine in 10 to 15 years. Before that, I used a computer. In the 90s, I used a modem, 144K modem, and a 56K modem and I learned how to configure it to fax. So you're gonna need a phone cable. A lot of printers come with phone cables, but a lot of these billion dollar fascist, crooked criminal corrupt corporations are stingy, they're cheapskates. They may not include a telephone cable with your printer, or they may. If you do not have one, you can even go to thrift stores. Thrift stores, you can get a used phone cable for $3. You might be able to get, I don't know if you get be able to get a new one for $3, but whatever. You know, Walmart, wherever. Radio Shack, wherever. RJ11 phone cable, very small, very small. Not the Ethernet, not the RJ45 that's wider, uh-uh. A phone cable, been around decades. You're going to connect that to the wall outlet and then to the line in on your printer. Now, if you're using a recorder, if you're using a machine to record your a voicemail system, if you have a voicemail, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to have to connect it from the voicemail to the printer. So it just depends on. But the easiest, quickest way to fax the line out, the phone jack on the wall, the phone cable, RJ11, directly to the line in on the printer. And then once you accomplish that, you can test. I don't know if all the printer manufacturers, but Hewlett Packard has a 31800 number. So you can test, you can fax from directly the printer on the the LCD panel on the printer if it has an LCD panel and well actually a lot of all-in-ones have at least a fax button or you can also use your computer the software on your computer one line line the line jack on the on this printer it's one line and it also has a 2 EXT for external. If you have an answering machine, then you would use the TXT. You would connect the RJ11 cable from the wall outlet, the phone line wall outlet, directly to the answering machine. And then you're going to have to get another phone cable from the answering machine to the printer, but you're going to use the external jack. It's 2 and then EXT. And then you're going to probably have to set up some fax settings. 
on the printer you should be able to just go through the the menu or if it's on your computer you can use software and you might have to include the the header you can put your name on the header or the, a phone number so let's say whenever you receive a fax and you print it out or even if you don't well when you send when you send a fax on the header you can have a company name or your personal name whatever the fuck you want you can leave it blank you can have your phone number printed just whatever the answering mode if you have an answering machine you might want to change the number of rings so whenever you receive the fax you don't necessarily want it to pick up right away right you don't want it to start transmitting data right away right if you have an answering machine or an answering system or voicemail your phone service might have voicemail so you can adjust on the printer itself under the fax settings or within the software you can tell it well answer well start transmitting the fax either incoming or outgoing after three rings or six rings or however many you can set so you might you want to be aware of that call waiting do they over oh, do they discuss call waiting also if you want to answer the phone if you do not have an answering machine if you do not have voicemail system but you don't want you want to be able to answer the phone first same thing you want to adjust the number of rings before the fax starts transmitting there's ring type dial type fax volume they do not discuss let me let me search i don't think they discuss call waiting call waiting no i think call i don't know i don't use normal phones I hate telephones. I don't even have a dumb device. Nah. I have VoIP service, voice over internet protocol phone service, but nah. I very rarely use it. I receive calls incoming once in a while, but I don't, nah. Unless I have to, I don't talk to people. Waste my time. You know what I'm saying? Caller ID, well, excuse me. Call waiting might be a problem. I don't even remember off the top of my head. It's either what, star 97 or star star 69 or star 67 whatever they are look it up your phone provider could be different if you have two lines and you have call waiting and then you're on a what well, is that going to affect fax yeah i think it might i know it does with dial up internet back in the day you had to dial up to connect to the internet you definitely had to fuck with call waiting does call waiting affect faxing cuz you're going to have a second line and you're going to receive if like an incoming fax and then it may end up going to voicemail and then it's not going to work you may or may not have to deal with that you may not want to fuck with that you could place the call on <laughs> i could you might be able to place your call on hold and then send a fax <laughs> on your second line and then piss off your you know first caller but who cares about that i don't fucking use telephones waste of my time very rarely do I have to call somebody. I don't like it. But a lot of these crooked, corrupt criminal corporations, they don't even have phone, telephone support. So it's kind of ironic. I complain about that, but then really I don't like to f call people anyways. Anyways, let's move along. That's about it, man. And then to send a fax, you can send a fax directly from this printer, the 7920. You can use the automatic sheet feeder or you can just use the glass whatever you want to fax you put face down on the glass or you use the the paper feeder and then automatic document feeder and then you type in the number you want to fax and then you hit the fax button and bam it should go as long as everything is set up you know what i'm saying you can also use the software hewlett packard has their software that should have a fax tool and you could use your computer
you could literally fax from your computer and you could use a different header. You could use whatever. You could fax something off your computer. You know what I'm saying? That is possible. The good thing about Hewlett Packard, they have a 800 number. And I will give it to you, or maybe I won't. You know what? Click on the link in the description box below to my blog post on my website, anacompares.com, where I include, as an added bonus, a free 800 number that you can test. You'll be able to test, and I highly think it's productive. I think you should test first. It's toll free, it's an 888 number. That's not gonna cost you anything. So you don't need to worry about that because, I mean, you have your facts set up, but then you're going to have to call somebody. You're going to have to test. And you may not want to call your mistress. You may not want to call your wife that's a feminist. Your own children might get pissed off. And so what do you do? You definitely want to test first. And then and your boss, that asshole or that bitch, that wants his or her TPS report in on time and you're working remotely, you're telecommunicating, and you, but you need to send a fax, they want it right now. If you do not send it to them by 9 a.m. on Monday morning, you're fucking fired. And then you have a mortgage payment, you have your girlfriends, your mistresses, your wife's about to divorce you because now you don't have a job. You know what I'm saying? So I would think it's very productive to use their toll-free number to test a fax. Now, I don't know. Let me see. I could look up. I know you can test outgoing. You can send a test fax to them. I don't know if it's vice versa. I've never used it. I don't fax. Wa waste my time. But, you know, I, <laughs> I still know how because back in the day, decades ago, I learned how to use a modem. I, I used my computer. I never owned a fax. I think I'm, did I ever own a fax machine? I think maybe before, did I ever own a fax machine? I don't think I've ever owned a fax machine in my entire life. You know, a dedicated fax machine? No, I learned how to use a computer. Let me see quickly. Test. Oh yes, it is vice versa. You can test, send, and receive functionality with the HP fax test service. So you can both test sending a fax and receiving a fax. Highly productive for you to make sure that everything is working. Adios. <laughs>